You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. Welcome to Titan Medical Center. At Titan Medical Center, we provide a wide variety of services like hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin and amino acid injectables, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, detox rejuvenation therapy, blood work, peptide therapies, custom IV and nutrient drip therapies, and much more. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Have you been feeling tired, down, or just not feeling like yourself? Well, when you come to Titan Medical Center, we'll get you back on track and feeling your best so you can get your priorities going and get active, start getting a good nutritional diet, improving the quality of your sleep and rest, and also improving your health, fitness, and overall quality of life. Titan Medical Center is here for all your needs. I've been a patient with Titan Medical Center now for three years, and it has changed my life tremendously. They always follow up with me and make sure that my blood levels are optimal, which I think is very important with everyone, because with blood work, you're able to determine where you're deficient. One of my favorite Titan medical therapies is the ECA Stack Plus. The ECA Stack Plus gives me a tremendous amount of energy with no crash later on, which allows me to stay focused all day throughout work because I do have a physically demanding job. And another thing I love about the ECA Stack Plus is even after work, I still have enough energy to spend time with loved ones and go do different activities with them without just wanting to go home and crash. I would definitely recommend Titan Medical Center to anyone who's trying to become the best version of themselves. For more information on becoming a Titan Medical Center patient, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Are you ready to dial in on what's going on inside your body? Well, the only true way is to blood test. That's right, blood work shows everything. What's going on with your vital organs, what's going on with your hormones, sugar levels, and so on. It's so important to check, and not that many people do it. I hear people all the time tell me, I haven't been to the doctor in five years, 10 years. Well, that's not something to be proud of. You wanna make sure that you're checking everything that's going on inside your body Make sure it's optimal and make sure it's on the right track so you're healthy. Even if you're doing your own thing supplement wise, you still wanna make sure you know what's going on so you're on the right track to get healthier and to get better. Get those true results that you're really yearning for. So if you're ready to find out what's going on inside your body so you can make the optimal educated decision about what to do with it, then you need to call or text us at 727-389-3220. We make it very simple and very easy to go anywhere in the country to get blood work through Titan Medical Center. So don't delay. It's your health, it's your life. Don't you want the best for yourself? Contact us today. Initiating the Titan Medical Center production. What's going on, guys and girls? Tonight we are at Dom Dalla here in Tampa, Florida at the Cuban Club, put on by our good friends at Pied Piper Productions. 
I've got my beautiful wife over here, Cherise. What's up, guys? And I've got some of the awesome tight nets with me out here. I've got Leah, Scarlett, and I've got Jesse in the back actually talking to some potential patients. And you guys did not get to come out here to this great event tonight. Don't worry. The video and the behind the scenes is going to show you everything that's going on, and you guys are just going to love it. So make sure you guys stay tuned to new Titan Medical Center events, and uh, we've got some great ones coming to you, so stay tuned, all right? going to make you feel so fine when you hear my bass line. My bass line. My bass line. going to make you mine when you hear my bass line. My bass line. My, my, my bass line. What's up guys, we're back, finishing up a great night here with Dom Dollar at the Cuban Club, Tampa, Florida. Shout out to Mike Piper and Pipe Piper Production, Corey and all the staff that puts this great event together. It was one hell of a night, beautiful weather, thank God it held up because it was supposed to rain all day long. That would have been terrible because it's been a great night. Right? Outside of that, so all you can do in Florida is pay for the best. And hope you get no rain. And you know what? We did that tonight. So it was a super success. We love you guys. And hopefully we have great events coming up for you in the future. I mean, enjoy this video with my incredibly sexy husband. <laughs> great music, great times. And you know what? With a wife like this, I'm always winning. Let's go. Remember, guys, you and everyone out there watching this has the opportunity to come and work at fun events just like this. Come hang with the team talk to everybody about the joys of Titan Medical Center and the value that our therapies can bring to your life. All you have to do is go online at titanmedicalcenter.com, hit that jobs and careers button, and apply to be a pro model. Cannot wait to meet you guys in person. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I wanna share with you guys the easiest, simplest way to get our new patient paperwork. It's really easy. Just pull out your smartphone, open the camera settings and point directly at the QR code. Once you do that, it's gonna direct you right to our new patient paperwork where you can fill it out online through your smartphone, your tablet, your desktop, or you can go old school, print it up, fill it out, send it back to us, fax it back to us, or even email it back to us. It's really up to you. We wanna make sure you guys are looking your best, feeling your best, and performing at optimal levels daily. Who doesn't wanna lose some weight, gain some lean muscle mass, maybe step it up in the bedroom, more energy, more focus. It's real simple and easy. Our medical providers can customize a regiment of our Titan Medical Center therapies that will help you achieve and reach your goals the healthiest way possible. So don't delay guys, pull out that smartphone, open the camera settings, point at the QR code, fill out the new patient paperwork and become part of the Titan Medical Center family today. I'm John from Titan and I know our Titan family is looking forward to having you as our patient. I understand there's some something that you have that's less than $100 that you can get um, and it helps burn body fat and a, a lecture of stuff. Talk to me. Sure. If you want to do the most inexpensive route with Type Medical Center and you want weight loss, you want a more better mental clarity and a little bit of an euphoric feeling, you're going to want to go with our ECA Stack Plus real ephedrine, HCL, caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium. With those people out there that are allergic to aspirin, don't worry, we can take that out and make it custom for you so you guys can get all the benefits of it. Great energy, weight loss, an euphoric feeling, feeling all good, ready to rock and roll, no more other things you'll need. This is definitely the way to go and the most inexpensive route, I think, for weight loss. You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. I don't want to just look better. I want to feel and perform better. That's why I choose Titan Medical Center to help me reach my health goals and to optimize my performance. Titan Medical Center is a concierge medical clinic conveniently located in downtown Tampa's beautiful Channelside District. 
Our services range from identical hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, peptide therapies, vitamin and amino acid injectable therapies, and much more. Today, Jonathan Price, one of Titan Medical Center's patients, will have the opportunity to share his personal Titan experience. So I used to be with a hormone replacement clinic about nine years ago. Unfortunately, the day to day, my energy was getting low. My therapies were coming in late. So I've known John and Sharice since middle school. I gave Sharice a call. John immediately reached out to me. We ended up doing my blood work and a lot of things were very off. I've noticed since day one of being with Titan Medical, the customer service difference, the speed of the therapies getting to me, uh, making sure that my health is number one and a priority to Titan. Uh, it's just a total experience. I feel much better. I have a lot more energy, a lot more confidence. I'm in the best shape of my life and I turned 38 this year. So if you want to be in the best shape of your life, I'm telling you, got to get it, reach out to Titan, get your blood levels checked and make sure you are at your optimal levels. So professionally, I ran health clubs for about 11 years as a vice president. I've also done construction sales out in the hot Florida sun. So you can imagine at my age out in the heat, uh, you got to be at a great health level. I mean, you got to have energy, you got to be able to move, you got to have that endurance, and you got to keep up with these younger kids who are trying to outperform us. Uh, but a beautiful thing is, is I feel like I'm 18 to 20 still. I think it's really a mindset, but more importantly, how you start inside that matters. So if you don't know what's going on inside your body, there's no way that you're going to get the maximum of, of everything else. Um, so having my blood work done, getting in here, making sure that everything's at its highest point, uh, I feel like 18 and I perform at my best level every single day. So one of my favorite therapies has always been my favorite therapy is Hercules Potion. I know a lot of people think about injectables as like, oh no, it's so scary, but I'm telling you right now, it is the best pre-workout on the market, hands down. You can't go in any store and find this type of therapy. Immediate pump in about 20 minutes. I don't care if you lift a rep, if you've been in the gym, you're going to feel some blood flow. And that's exactly the point in order to create lean muscle. Um, I love it. Uh, MK677, I personally have an appetite problem. I don't like to eat a lot. As soon as I take MK, immediately I'm able to get my meals down, which means nutrition. Um, I'm able to repair and rebuild the muscles that I've broken down. Think about nutrition going to your body for energy, resources, everything else. So because of the way I live my lifestyle, obviously it's infectious to others. Uh, I post how I feel on the internet, my workout videos, and a lot of people my age from high school are looking at me like, dude, how are you still doing it? How are you still staying at that level? You know, a lot of the high school football players that I used to work out with now, unfortunately have families, kids, lives, and they kind of let themselves go. But I want you guys to know, you are the perfect candidate to call Titan Medical and get your life back. That's what I've been doing for the past eight years and that's why I feel and look why I do today. You wouldn't believe the actual endless people that message me on social media that I just simply refer over to Titan and the responses that I get back from the results they see immediately. So if that can happen for them, it can definitely happen for you. I highly recommend calling 727-389-3220. Get your blood work checked, but more importantly, get your life back because you deserve it. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Sunday edition, 11 a.m. every Sunday here on ABC. <laughs> so uh, for you guys out there, if you guys don't know or haven't tuned into the show, we cover tips, tricks, and things that are hopefully going to help your relationship be a better one. Hopefully take that relationship up to a greater level, um, which should be more enjoyable for you and your partner. And hopefully you guys will learn some things. And if you guys had some bad relationships out there, maybe you guys will learn some tips and tricks. But we'll hopefully turn the next relationship into a successful one. Everybody's got to go through the bad to get to the good. That's right. That's right. So it happens all the time. So, you know, just a disclaimer out there. We're not uh, we're not therapists. We're not... No, I do not have a degree in psychology or yeah, counseling. Yeah, yeah. So these However, just... <laughs> I've been through some very, very, very... Um, entertaining situations. Yep. So I'm more than happy to share my experiences with you guys. Life experience. <laughs> the best experience. That's better than a book, I'll tell you. For sure. For sure. Uh, so this week we're going to cover balancing your relationship and balancing your family. Okay? Because 
You know, in relationships, you know, if you have family or you both have family, you're going to probably include your family in your relationship at one time or another. Okay, whether it's you're just dating somebody for the first couple months and you decide, hey, listen, I'm going to introduce to my family. You're going to go to a, a holiday event or whatever it may be. So they're going to get some interaction from your partner and your family. And hopefully you want to be a positive one. And hopefully they want to be a positive one. Mm -hmm. But this does not happen all the time. Okay? And as you, you know, grow with somebody, you're going to be around their family more and they're going to be around you and so on and so on. Most of the time. Whatever. Most of the time, right? Or you're just going to have some <laughs> sort of interaction, you know, one way For or sure. the other, right? So, you know, how to balance these things because that line sometimes gets crossed or it gets a real gray area blurry. as far as that goes. Blurry. A little blurry. Um, and we don't really know where the sticking point should be on both sides. So let's talk about this. Let's like talk about some examples. Like, are we talking about like whose side to pick? Or, right. So know? let's say, you know, you, you, you go over to, to the family's house. Not your family, the, your significant other's family. And you guys have a disagreement about something, right? Um, I think that this is the best and you think this is the best and you guys kind of get into some sort of, I don't want to say argument, but yeah, some sort of argument, right? Where you guys are kind of going back and forth about these things. And then they develop animosity against you, right? So at that point, then you go home and, you know, then your significant other is telling you, hey, listen, my mom's mad at you because you said this and, you know, I think that she was right. And, and then you're like, well, you know, what about me? So at that point, it kind of isolates the person too, right? Because they're like, well, you know, do you care about me more or do you care about them more? And that's a hard one to choose from because obviously if that's their mom and you're the significant other, it puts them in a hard place, right? Hmm. It, Sound familiar? It does. It, it goes in a, you, go, you go in a hard place right there. So, you know. John's been there before. <laughs> Listen, I've been there. I know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is um, too. But, you know, I mean, with that, then, then you got to kind of set the boundaries, right? right? So you say, listen, that's your family. I know you love your family and all this, but let's say we're, we've been together for four years at that point. Then you're going to kind of want to take my side on some things or make me a priority to a certain extent, right? And if you guys are married and have a family, then the rules change to a certain extent. At least it does when, with our relationship, the way it happened. Yeah, it should. Um, so, you know, when you get married and you have kids, then that becomes your core family. Where before, when you were getting raised with a kid and that was your dad or mom, that was your core family too, right? Now, you can still have your core family as far as your parents and stuff like that. But it's really not your core, right? So, you know, bless my dad because he's no longer here. But he instilled something into me. And yes, mom, I know you're watching. And I apologize in advance because I'm sure you're going to love this story. But he instilled in me that you had your core family at that time. You know, like your mom, your dad, brother, sister, whatever it might be. That's your core family, right? And then what he would always tell me, right, when I was a kid, is he would tell me, when you find the man that you love, right, and you marry this man, and you have your children with him and everything, I'm going to be second. Your mom's going to be second. We're going to come secondary to your core family. There's, we're not saying that mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, uncle and aunt brothers, and cousins, sister, brothers and sisters, yeah. we're not saying that they don't matter because, of course, they matter and they're important and we love them unconditionally of course mm -hmm. but there is your core family right so when it comes to that if you're in a relationship ultimately you know one of two things needs to happen in this particular scenario that john is discussing either a you are going to either way you look at it you should back up your significant other mm -hmm. right no matter what back them up a hundred percent and always have their back right now let's say you really do kind of agree with your mom right or you maybe kind of agree with your dad you're gonna still back them up at the time, right? Mm -hmm. But maybe on the ride home or when you get to the house and things cool down a little bit or maybe wait a day or whatever it might be, you know, maybe say, hey, listen, 
can I give you a different outlook on right. something? You right. know, like just just think about it. I'm not saying you're right. I'm not saying she's right. I'm not saying he's right. right. All I'm saying is, you know, I'm trying to be neutral here. And maybe there was a different, maybe the different point you're not looking at. Mm-hmm. You know, because listen, you can always be wrong. You could be right. Mm-hmm. There's a, plenty of different ways mm-hmm. you could spin something, right? Mm-hmm. But ultimately, the way I was taught anyway, is that I have to always have my husband's back, mm-hmm. no matter what. Mm-hmm. So even in public, right? Mm-hmm. If he's wrong, I'm gonna back him up. Right. In my family, if he's wrong, I'm still gonna back him up. Right. I might step outside and be like, hey, that wasn't right. But then I always back him up. Mm-hmm. So I really do think, you know, it, I, and sometimes it gets blurry because, you know, what if they're really close to their mom and dad? You know, maybe they, you might feel like they put your mom or dad first, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I, me and John personally went through this with his dad, okay? Mm-hmm. And I love Pete. You know, he's, me and him are actually pretty close and come to find out we're a lot alike. <laughs> and um, that's probably why we didn't get along. <laughs> um, and we both have very strong personalities. So, you know, us screaming across the kitchen when John, poor John's in the middle, like, oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I have my pregnant wife over here and my dad and they're screaming at each other. And I didn't know. I mean, do you remember that? I remember. So he, we've been in those crossroads. So we're not even talking about like, hey, you know, do this, do that. We're telling you, hey, guess guys, we've been there. Mm-hmm. We know what it feels like. Absolutely. He knows what it feels like to be in the middle. For sure. I know what it feels like to be in the middle and have to choose between, you know, what my dad said and what he's saying. And what, what, do, what do you do? How do you know what's right and wrong? Right. You know, so... There's a fine line, but you know if you if you've been with the person for two weeks, eh, yeah, I can't give you I can't give you too much yeah. to go there. Right? Then you might you know you <laughs> might you might not have to take sides, right? But, but if you invested like four or five, you know, even two or three years, that's a long time to be with somebody. Right. If you're living with them, you know, you know, you're you're having some sort of future. You know, at that point, then you're gonna have to start you know taking their side to a certain extent. And then if they're wrong, having a discussion with them afterwards and then trying to find a resolution to the problem maybe find they had resolution. with the family member, right? But, you know, if those family members don't, if they don't want to, they don't, listen, if there's a problem with the family member and your significant other it was like, you know, finally after a little bit, like, okay, I, I understand what you're saying, honey. You know what? I'll, I'll apologize or I'll at least try to make it right. They try to make that effort. And then if that family member is like, oh, I don't care or it doesn't matter to me, or I don't want to hear it, and then they just keep, you know, just downgrading that person, or degrading that person, excuse me. At that point, then, you know, then you got to take your, your partner's side and be like, well, listen, you know, they're trying to at least step up their game and, and do this to make things right. And at that point, you know, you're not. So then you got to ask them, like, why aren't you doing this? And why aren't you supporting my relationship and or my significant Who I love, other? right. Because, you know, because then you're disrespecting me to a certain extent at that point because you're not respecting my choice and partner and who I want to bring around and who I want in my life and who I want near me. And, you know, that's kind of where, you know, you have to put that little line in the sand and be like, and some people listen, this is the way it's going to be. Some people never learn that line. Well, listen, the problem is with those people is that when you get to that extent and you're always worried about, let's say you're 60 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and you're worried about your mom and your brother and this and that at the house and you can't get away and you got to go all free time or you're calling them, you know, on your free time at the house all the time and it's an everyday event. Might be an issue. There might be an issue. Okay. <laughs> be an issue. And at that point, if your partner's feeling isolated or is feeling like a third wheel or, or not feeling the love. Okay, that's gonna affect your relationship. Right. And then you know at that point, and then you're you're hammering down on them about your family or whatever problems that they're bringing, and then you're going back to your family and probably talking about some of these problems and making it even worse. It makes it bad. Don't do that. You're gonna you're gonna set yourself up for failure. And if you really care about that person, um, it's not gonna make them feel good at all. And at that point, that could that could be detrimental to the relationship mm-hmm. and the future of the relationship. Yeah. So you know the first thing we always say is is if you do have these problems, right? Or anything you're doing, identify the problem. That's the first step in what you, what you want to do for resolution. Identify the problem, figure it out. At that point, communicate with your partner. That's a, the, the next thing, right? And then find some sort of resolution to that problem. Um, it could be a compromise. Sometimes you, know, you might have to step up to the plate and just, you might have to take a hit for your partner. You know, it, it, it this happens often. And the reason I'm saying it is because I'm telling you, me and John have been there, right? So, you know, he's had to take a hit for me 
because, you know, his dad just, you know, me and his dad, I'm telling you, we didn't get along at all. And at some point, I'll never forget it, too, because I, I, I would argue with John. And we get into arguments about it. Like, you're picking your dad over me. And he's like, I'm not picking sides. This is just what's going on. I'm trying to just, I'm basing these two things. This is exactly what happened. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're picking him over me. I'm supposed to be first. Me, me, me. I'm first, you know. And um, and this baby's first. <laughs> so either way you look at it, baby, no baby. Right. You know, he did have to step up at some point and be like, hey, listen. Whether you like her or not, she's not going anywhere. So you might as well try to figure out how you're going to like her because she's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I love her. She's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. But you see how he stood up and said, hey, listen. And you may not want, I mean, some pe some people fear their parents, mm -hmm. you know, or might fear what they do or might fear how they might react. Mm -hmm. And some people, especially very cultural people like mm -hmm. Greeks, Indians, you know, people that come of like super, super strong cultures. A lot of those people they won't do it if their parents say no that is a golden no that's right and they that's like listen my parents said no and that's what it was i don't mm -hmm. care if i'm you know 25 55 65 they said no i'm not doing it mm -hmm. you're you know we're, listen it's 2021 you know we're no longer in the 1920s all right i hate to say it but you know it's you're gonna have to step up and you're gonna have to, if you really truly love this person you're gonna have to find a compromise yep. and if your parents are not or your sister brother whoever it is that's having the argument with your significant other if your significant other is willing to apologize they're gonna need to meet at the halfway point mm -hmm. and say hey listen we're just gonna have to come to an amicable point mm -hmm. right we're gonna have to agree to disagree and then guess what we're gonna move forward because we have many many more events christmas thanksgiving fourth of july that we want to spend together all those times that you figure out think about all the times that you really like you're gonna miss out or you have to split it up it's tough when you got to split it up it's tough i mean what are you going to leave your significant other home while you go hang out with your parents well that's the thing if, if you can't do that you know if, if you're i mean you can you want to bring your significant other to like holidays listen even but it if won't be nice even if there's fighting right in, in 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 between your family and your loved one holidays it's like an, an you know an unnamed rule under you the blanket. put things aside. <laughs> Goes under the blanket. You be cordial. <laughs> One day. At the holiday. You get through the holiday. And at that point, you can tell them to screw off. <laughs> you know, on that. But you, you've done it. On the, the way out, right? To the car. You've done it for By the, the way. Family, right? By the way, one more thing. And it wasn't Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I mean, the best thing to do is be cordial, right. try to have a good holiday or whatever it is, and then just move on because, right. you know, you want you don't want to make your partner feel isolated from their family either, right? Right. And they, they shouldn't be doing that to you either, so it's a reciprocal thing. Yeah. Um, but at that point, you should be able to, you know, at least get by things. And your partner should make it a point to have you there. If a family member says, well, I'm not going to come if they come, then at that point, like, well, I guess I'm not going to come either then. Right. Right. You know, that's where you kind of stand your ground, you know, against your family, wherever it is. And like, listen, if you're not willing to accept this person. This person's part of me. Then you're not willing to accept me either. Why? Right. You know, and then kind of get through that. So these are just some of the things <laughs> that you guys can learn from us. It's an important one. It's, it's a big one. It's a big one. I think a lot of people have to deal with it because a lot of people, you know. I went there at my whole life. You know, so. relationships, you know, you're, you're meeting new people, new family members. They might you know, look at you, judge you, and at that point cause issues or it might be problems from before. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But just watch out for it. Try to do the right thing. Prioritize your relationship and your loved one. And just, you know, make sure you put that line in the sand that differentiates. Always have your partners back. All right? Always. So this has just been another Cupid's Corner with me and Sharice. We appreciate you guys all tuning in every Sunday at 11 a.m. And uh, we'll see you next week. See you then.